Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, you see behind me? Doesn't look familiar, does it? I'm in a new spot today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm at Tennis Town and Country in Palo Alto, California. I'm right near the Stanford campus, and I'm about to enter the tennis shop here. So come on in. So check it out, different environment, not the shop you're used to, but come on in here, come on in. I've asked for permission to shoot this, obviously, and this is my friend, Teeny over here. Hi, guys. Uh, so she's gripping a racket, so I'm gonna just show you the wall real quick here. Uh, so right when you walk in, you see the head, the head area. See the gra gravities on the top, the prestiges, the radicals, the extremes, and then on down to the booms and the instincts. And then we got the speeds to the right. So I like the way she's uh, sectioned this off here. We got Babylon right here. You can see the strikes are up top. My guess is she's organizing it by the top sellers. It's because arrows, pure drives are eye level. And then check out this wall. Check out this wall. I actually took this wall in and when they dropped it at the store, I was like, I ain't got room for that. So I had them take it away. But it's, look at how cool this wall is though. Even though Ultra is now uh, not Monfils, Monfils is now with Artango, Artango. Come on over. But this is such a cool looking wall. We've got a Fed sign racket over here. Let's just move on over here to look at this massive wall of Dunlop. Macy's doing a great job. Yeah, Macy's our rep. Hi, Sunshine. And then we got the Yonex section over here. All right, so this is Timmy. Timmy, welcome to Tennis Spin. Hi guys, how are you? So how long you been running the store? Uh, we are here 12 years ago. Wow, mm -hmm. that is great. How did you come about wanting to open a tennis shop? Uh, so we opened 12 years ago. Uh, my husband is a tennis coach and uh, our children used to play tennis back then a lot. We thought it would be a good idea to work together. Oh, yeah. just like me <laughs> and my wife. That's that's a great idea. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so 12 years later, we got this great little tennis shop in Palo Alto, California. So. It, during this current time frame of hopefully the end of the pandemic, um, obviously there's a lot of shortages going on. What do you see as like the main thing that you need right now? Uh, footwear. Oh, that, yeah. that would be the most important thing, right? Tennis ball shortage is, is uh, it seemed to be a little bit better. At least we have options. But with footwear, it's it's really difficult. You know, there's lots of companies are not shipping this year. So I think that would be the, the main challenge. Got it. Yeah, everybody wants shoes right now. I keep telling our customers, the world is out of tennis shoes. Like literally, there is nothing. So like, like I tell you guys, if you see something in your size, just buy it. Don't ask yes. for the color, yes. okay? Because you're not gonna have options after you walk away from that shoe, okay? So don't wait. Um, any other challenges? Um, not that I would think of. Okay. Not really. I don't think so. All right. So the question that everybody wants to ask everybody, including myself, what's your number one selling racket? Oh, 
Great question. Okay, I think at the moment, right, because things are, are changing sometimes, I would say Blade 98. Blade 98? What? 16 by 19? Or 16 by 19. 16 by yes, 19. Yes, far, far from 18, Sonic. I'm, st yes. I'm out of stock too, so you, yes, you guys yes, know. <laughs> yes. How about your best selling record? I, I'm out of pure drives. Okay. So I'm zero pure drives right now. They like I got 20 in and literally 20 rolled out in less than two weeks. Wow. Same with you? Or you got uh, some? We have some. I might can share some with you. If you need some. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got a lot pure of drive is good, very strong, but I think we have, uh, we have more uh, above intermediate uh, players around here. Right. So that's why we usually do better with the 98s. Got the it. The Blade 98s, just so popular. Yeah, so she's saying that the, their higher level of player out here in Palo Alto, um, ours is probably a lot of you know, club players. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, you weekend warriors. <laughs> What's your number one string here? Mm, I'm going to go for Alu Power 125. Ooh, okay. I would say that would be our number one poly. Okay. Too. Yeah. Number one synthetic? Dynawire Yonix. Dynawire, okay. Uh -huh. So that's just a synthetic gut from yes. Yonix. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Do you sell Selenko here? Yes, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. We don't have too many on set, so this is just the set string. We have a lot of uh, selection on the Oh, videos. on the reels. Yeah, we, I got you. We try to uh, have truly everything. Out of the natural god, Luxal on natural god seems to be very, very popular around. Oof. No? Okay. Mm -mm. No? I you don't know? like that string. You don't like that string? <laughs> I don't yes. like that string. It's great for people with tennis elbow or injured arms, you know, and, and we do have a lot of people where um, we see actually a lot of people coming back to tennis uh, and they have, uh, they suffer from tennis elbow. So that's Luxal on natural god. We definitely sell much more than before the pandemic. Wow. Like mm -hmm. I sell a ton of Babylon gut uh -huh. and I sell a lot of Wilson gut. I tried Luxalon gut years ago. First of all, it was a big pain to actually string, which turned me off on it immediately. And then when I got it on my racket, it was like so stiff. I was like, why is this gut so stiff? Maybe you should try it again. Maybe they updated the little bit the technology. Okay. It's more durable, better for top spin. People seem to love it. Okay, yeah, I got the first gen version. I don't know if they made a maybe modification. That's why. Yes, I no. think maybe that's why. I think it's definitely worth to try. Uh, Bubble and Natural got softer a little bit. Breaks faster. Breaks a little bit faster, <laughs> exactly. Lux Salon got it's just so good. Oh, maybe I have to. Maybe I learned something today. Maybe I gotta revisit that one. Because I was so ne negative on it for the last four years. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Like I okay, would try never it again, buy it. I would say. Okay. I guess I learned something today. Number one selling ball? Uh, Propen. Propen over mm -hmm. Wilson. Interesting. Mm, yes. And number number one selling shoe when you had it? A6, Jet Resolution A. Eight. Mm. No secret, though. No secret. How about, would you carry Mizuno? Or? Yes, we, we will carry Mizuno as soon as it gets here. Okay. We actually had them a couple of years ago. It didn't go that well, but in the past couple of years, I think they are a lot more uh, reliable and uh, popular, so we, we are bringing them in again. Top over grip. Top over grip. Mm, that's a good mm -hmm. one. Dry? Or tacky. Oh, tacky, tacky, tacky. Tacky. I'm gonna surprise you with this one. Uh oh. Like that. Uh oh. She went away. What? This is. Oh uh, no! That's my favorite tacky. too. That is my favorite Overview. too. That is Hands down. My favorite too. Tacky. Yes. Right. Yes. Just mm -hmm. remember to peel both sides. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you don't want, this is not the techiest. Right, that is techier than this, but this is a perfect combination of soft, tacky, and durable. Definitely, I agree with that 100%. So, Dunlop, I said that this is the top overgrip myself for the last year, so I got some confirmation here. Yep. Top replacement grip. Uh, top replacement grip, I would go for had. Yes. <laughs> I was so proud. 
Either way. We never I, talked. Okay. <laughs> this was not rehearsed. Yeah, good yes, question. We never talked. That is durable, not too tacky, not too dry. You can actually change the grip pretty easily without it hitting the brakes on you. Yes. You can stretch it. You can create it a little bit thinner if you want. And I think that's exactly people should listen to the people who are in the pro shops. Ask your questions because we really tested everything numerous times. We really know what would be the best grape over grip, wow. etc. Right. Yep. See you guys. We, yep. I, I, this is crazy. I didn't think she would, I, was gonna, I thought you were going to pick something else, but, um, high five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anything that you see coming forward the rest of 2022 that would, that the people should know? A couple of good rackets, I think, exciting things are coming in the market, right? We're going to have the new E-Zones. I am quite uh, excited about that because we do really well with Yonex mm -hmm, rackets. Mm -hmm. Other than that, for this year... Mm, and then we got arrows coming out in August. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Exactly. What else are we going to have? That might be we, it. Yeah, might be it. Yeah, we already get the new clashes, mm -hmm. which is also quite exciting, right? Because there is a little bit of changes here and there. Mm. I don't like the red. You don't like the red? <laughs> look at the <laughs> look, wall. Look we like it. the red. So guys, I want to thank Timmy for uh, spending a little time with us today and sharing her insights from her own pro shop today. So if you want to visit Timmy, it's Tennis Town and Country in Palo Alto, California. The address is below, and the website will always be below also. Um, Timmy, thanks again. Thank you too. Guys. See you guys. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.